Hello and welcome. This is a short walkthrough of how you can work with custom fields with the Asana for Power BI integration. Let's get started. Here we are in an Asana project. We have a number of custom fields that we'd like to work with in Power BI. Here are those fields. They're text, number, dropdowns. How can we bring these in? Well, the first thing we do is go ahead and copy the URL and head over to Power BI. Here we are, we can hit get data and you can select the Asana connector. Here, you'll be able to paste in that URL, hit OK, and the data will start to flow in. Uh, let's select the tasks from that project. We'll get a quick preview, but we see that there are lists in the custom fields. Let's transform the data uh, so that we can work with it more effectively. Here we are in the query editor. And what I'd like to do, uh, well, first we have all the data. What I'd like to do is move the task ID to the left. This will help give us an understanding of how the data is being manipulated as we uh, unwrap these custom fields. So with the tags, let's go ahead and expand this to new rows. It'll take that list and convert it to uh, the records. Once we have the record, we see that the number of tasks has increased because you might have more than one tag per task. Let's go ahead and select the name and convert that to the tags themselves. Let's do the same for the custom fields. We'll expand this to rows and we'll see that now those tasks have multiple rows, multiple records. That's because there are multiple custom fields per task. What we can do is select the name and value and that will preserve the custom field name and values that we saw in the project. Now we have tasks with priority to low, region, latitude, longitude. How do we make these into columns? Well, there's one more list column that I want to unwrap and that's the project custom field. So let's expand that to rows, but these are null values in this example. So if we head back, what we can do is select the name and also select, um, uh, make sure that we don't have any null values in there because these are gonna become column headers. We'll select the name and we'll also select the value. We'll pivot the column. So the custom field names will be the column headers and the values will be the rows. Let's set this to not aggregate. Uh, and if we take a look at the tasks on the left-hand side, we will now see that they've reduced. It's because those rows have all been converted into columns. If we scroll on down towards the right, we'll see that all those custom fields are now columns and you can manipulate them as you create your dashboards. One more step that we want to take is make sure that the data types of all these columns are set correctly. So for example, latitude, longitude, let's make those decimals. If we fast forward a little bit, we can make sure everything is set and apply all these uh, transforms and start working with the data inside of Power BI. Here Power BI is converting all that data. We'll have access to it momentarily on the right hand side. There it goes. And now we can select uh, any type of chart that we'd like to create, uh, perhaps this uh, stacked bar chart. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. And now let's test out the data. Let's pull in the team type and see how many tasks there are based on the design support requests uh, for this project. We can click and drag in the number of tasks and now we have a chart that we can pivot through and see how many the tasks there are based on copy, graphics, print. Let's fast forward and take a look at a dashboard that utilizes all the custom field data. Here we are looking at tasks over time. You can pivot based on when they're created and requested. We can look at the status of work and start calculating how many are ready for review, open for task, and even create plots based on uh, field data like how much estimated effort there is. If we take a look at what work is getting done, we can see how custom fields can give us a good idea of what types of things and in what proportions are being requested of the team. Let's also take a look at when work is getting done. This is an example of how you can start to do calculations and look at the estimated task length versus the actual. Business intelligence tools like Power BI is a very powerful place to do your own custom calculations based on those custom fields. Over here, you can utilize custom fields to look at geographic data. Here's latitude and longitude plotted against a map, and we can see where tasks uh, are taking place on the Eastern Seaboard versus Europe. And lastly, we can combine Asana's work management data with other data sets, like Salesforce data. Here, I can pivot between closed one and closed loss opportunities and understand what type of work pushed those business impacts forward. 
With that, we've seen how we can use custom fields, transform the data, and create dashboards of Asana work management data inside of Power BI. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at asana.com sales or directly to your account team. Thank you so much.